Hi guys, this is Linda. June 26th um, of this year is going to be um, Leonard Peltier Day. The Ogala Sioux have announced that they are making this day and every day, every June 26th forward to come, Leonard Peltier Day. And if you don't know who Leonard Peltier is, I'm going to tell you real quick and I'm going to leave the link of, of what they said about um, the come the day that they're doing this the commemoration day um, anyway he was a he was the man accused um, during the American Indian movement uh, he was allegedly accused of shooting two FBI agents however even the prosecution later has said they didn't have the evidence to even prosecute him for this crime he is now serving two life sentences for and he's been treated very, very badly in prison. Now, the only reason he got prosec or put in jail is because the judge that they got hated Indians, period. Hated Indians. The most racist judge they could find. So it wouldn't have mattered. Um, evidence that it would have showed he was innocent was withheld and never allowed to be put in forth in front of anything. So they knew that he was going to get life. And he did. He got two life sentences. And now he's very sick, and they are treating him very badly still. The FBI and the Department of Justice still oversee him. They don't like him. Um, they pretty much... I'm going to leave some videos underneath, and you can see what one prisoner guard has said um, about the conditions and the way he's speaking out on how they treat Leonard Peltier. And um, you guys probably know Russell Means. Well, he stood with Russell Means at, at Wounded Knee in the battle and protected the elders when there was a shootout and stuff. So it's it's really worth, you know, looking at Leonard Peltier and saying enough's enough. I mean, it's time to, to let him go home. He's dying anyway in jail. He's very, very sick. So um, he, was, he was put in jail under false pretenses, and um, they're not going to let him out. And they keep saying, oh, we'll get to it, and, um, I mean, they've, they've even, the, the, uh, Ogala Sioux have even appealed to the United Nations to step in, this is a human rights violation, just by the treatment he's getting that other inmates don't get treated this way, and, and I'll leave some videos underneath that you can see they're not very long, and it would be worth, um, watching just to see how bad he is getting treated, a prisoner guard steps forward, but I'll leave the commemoration of the Ogala Sioux underneath here. And um, just remember June 26th, if, you know, one of our brothers is still suffering, you know, he's been there. He was arrested, I think, February 1976, and he's still in jail. And he's not doing very well. And he should go home and die, not be there. He's put there falsely. So I just wanted to say that and peace, love, and truth. And maybe if we scream loud enough, they'll hear us and free him. And let's focus our good energies on that. And remember, I will probably put up another video June 26th. But anyway, peace and love, everybody.